Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to talk about puffy nipples. Right, this is a condition which affects many people out there. I've suffered with it in the past, but I've found a way to like eliminate this. So first things first, there's two types of puffy nipples. Like there's the one type which everyone like thinks is gyno, but most cases it's not the case. So puffy nipples is like generally like a side effect of gyno, but at the same time you can get this from like having excess fat in your chest, which is what I found was my issue personally. If you go looking around, you're not going to find someone with say like less than 10% body fat with puffy nipples unless they actually have gyno. Um, the way I've like eliminated mine, I've been building up my chest and at the same time I've been cutting down. So with my cut I've been losing my um, body fat which I personally just hold the last bit of mine in my chest and my lower belly, which is a standard place to like hold it. So I'm probably around something like 14% at the moment, so like my serratus is coming through, um, my abs are starting to show and being more defined, my arms, like you're starting to see veins and stuff, which is great. Um, but yeah, like so... If you just do chest exercises, it's going to make your puffy nipples look more pronounced. So I've got some pictures here to show you from, this is coming up to a year ago now, when I was like first kind of starting out with the gym, that kind of thing. So people would think that this is gyno, but it's definitely not the case because my puffy nipples have gone down now, and that's mainly due to cutting on body fat. So the first picture here, sorry about the quality on it. I, obviously my life is all messed up. Um, you can tell that my nipples are quite puffed up and they look like the kind of classic gyno kind of situation. And then this photo is from three months after. You can still see that the gyno look is there. Look like it's kind of like man boobs. Um, I never really had a great chest in the past. Um, so it kind of looks like it's like the nipples look like they're sticking out because there's nothing underneath them, there's no build up. Right, so now that you've seen some old pictures from like a year ago, here's a like, couple of pictures that I've taken literally today. Um, I can even show you on camera if you really want, but this is literally today, take my word for it. Everything in the background is exactly the same, right? Um, yeah, so you can definitely tell now that the puffiness has gone away and I contributed this down to literally my cut, like, I'm probably, I don't know, maybe like halfway into my cut or something like that, because I've shredded, I must have shredded about 5% body fat off, like in the last, I don't even know how long, for the last month or so, I think I've been cutting 5 weeks now, so I'm losing about a pound of fat a month, week, week, pound of fat a week, <laughs> pound of fat a month. What kind of diet is that? Um, yeah, so I'm down to 173 as of this morning. Down from... I, in December I was at 192. So I'm 20 pounds of fat later, pretty much. Um, yeah, you can see on the photos here that my nipples have gone down. They're looking kind of normal now. Honestly, try it. If you cut down you still have like puffy nipples, you've got gyno. That's the end of the story. You need surgery pretty much to get rid of it. But if you can cut down and it goes away, then that is your problem. You have body fat stored in your chest and that's causing you puffiness. And with these photos now shown, this is literally without a pump. I've not been gym today, it's my rest day. Um, so if you imagine with pump, obviously your chest tightens up a bit. And you can tell that even without a pump, it's kind of, you know, you can see the difference between the two photos. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. It's literally miles apart. You can tell the difference. Just cut down. Yeah. Right, yeah, to prove my point, uh, this is literally today. Um, yeah, same video, whatever. Um, as you can see, look, my nipples have definitely come down from that old photo. The well, everyone says it's gyno, but it's not. Look, my nipples are normal now. This is literally in the space of a year. It's not gyno, it's body fat. Um, yeah, pretty much. There we go. Well, pretty much this is the end of the video now, so thanks for watching. Hope this helped somewhat. Um, 
Yeah, there's the truth. It's body fat in your chest. See you later.